here's the deal. So speed killing RuneScape is something that's fascinated me since I first started streaming on Twitch. I remember the Magister release, getting three minute kills and feeling like I was doing pretty well with myself. Ending stream after a long day of what I felt was my best PVMing ever, and then tuning into You Got Lit Up stream and watching him kill the boss repeatedly three times faster than me without using any food. And bearing witness to that, I had really two thoughts. One, I have no idea how he's doing this. And two, this is so freaking cool. That's sick. So I've dabbled into PVM records before just because it's something that interests me a lot. I've watched probably every single PVM record that's ever been submitted. It's something that's interesting to me. I even made a video series of getting the hard mode Kriara world record many years ago as my first one. I've also held the Arch Glacial world record as well as some Solak records in the last three months. But as is always the case, there are levels to this. And although many would consider me a top PVMer, I'm certainly a knowledgeable player, but there's a level of speed killing above me, which is what we're gonna be dabbling into and showcasing today. To help me do this, I wanna introduce the most decorated speed killer in RuneScape, Pup. He currently holds 18 first place world records, and he's quite frankly, he's the best there is when it comes to speedrunning RuneScape bosses. So, out of all of his records, I picked one in particular that we're gonna be focusing on today because I think it's the single coolest speed kill I've ever seen. It's a solo ambassador beam skip. Normally, when you are fighting the ambassador, there's a force phase that is 60 seconds long at 650k life points. But if you can manage to deal a full 100,000 damage in a split second, he'll just skip the entire mechanic, resulting in an absolutely massive time save and a place in the RuneScape history book. The only problem is, look at this. Just wait, just wait. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. Ready? I have no idea what just happened. And that is exactly what the problem is. So today we're gonna be learning from the best there is. Please give a warm welcome in chat to Pup, who will be teaching me and by proxy all of you how to get a solo beam skip at the ambassador. I hope I don't throw too hard. I, I feel like it's, it's gonna likely be quite difficult, but I'm uh, I'm super, 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 super stoked to, uh, to get into it, to get amongst it today. Because uh, yeah, speed killing is something that's really interesting to me. And this is probably the coolest one there is. So, uh, here we go. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, dude. I'm good. I'm excited for today. <laughs> I am... <laughs> sort of. Sort of. Okay, so take me through the sort of. Take me through the sort of. Okay, um... Well, we'll see if you're good enough. Gave it on the <laughs> sticks, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know there's a very real chance that I'm not, but... That's... I'm built different. It's fine. Uh -huh, it's gonna be fine. Uh -huh. No, honestly, I think it's mostly going to reflect on my teacher. It's sort of how I feel about it. It's kind of uh, like, hum. I feel like me with the right teacher can do pretty much anything. Um, also, I had an idea. So I have not gone into ED3. Idea, mm -hmm. do you want to just join a group with me so you can watch it in real time? Or is that... I, I'm down helpful? for that, yeah. Yeah, I feel like we should do that just so that, yeah, I know we're going to get group loot from a solo kill if I even get it. Hey, at the end of the day, if things don't end up uh, going too well, we can just uh, we can just kill the Ambi one time as a, as a consolation. Uh huh. Well, um, on my on my one thirty six, I got an ECB piece. So if we can get one of those, ooh, that, that would, would be, be great. That pay for the death costs that are inevitable. Also, yeah, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. We haven't had you on in a while. How uh, things I'm doing. Well? I'm doing well. Things have been good. Things have been good. I've been working on a few record things. I've been trying to um, do more guides on my YouTube channel. Um, trying to like teach some kind of like, interesting things that people don't necessarily always know. <laughs> That's um, such a good plug. Guys, make sure to go subscribe to Puff on YouTube. It, was, it wasn't meant like that. It's more, it's more like I've reached a point where I don't really know what speeds to do. That sounds weird, but it, no, it kind of has everything. reached that point. You've done everything there is to do within speeds yeah. of RuneScape. So you're bored out of your mind. So you're going to teach other people speeds. And then when you get bored of that, you're going to quit the game. Or they're going to come out with new bosses. Maybe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we could probably start by just getting to the ambassador perhaps yeah I'm, I'm done for that you're not allowed to watch or flame my casual pvming though oh i would never watch your casual pv and none of us you know one's in chat if you're gonna close your eyes for this part all right <laughs> thank you guys so much for uh for spamming ones in chat yeah no one i will say this though i wait don't you hold the record at crassian and Terracit? you hold all of them uh, do you not maybe you literally I do. do okay so, oh, don't play my casual PVMing. I just have the fastest speed kills at all of the bosses in this dungeon. No big deal. I have a question about a Ugh. beam skip, actually. I've got a good beam skip question. Uh -huh. So, you've got... How many have you submitted to the sheet? You've submitted three, right? 
Uh, yes. No, four. So basically, I will have a place in the history books if I can get one. In fifth place, probably. Very you exciting. may do, yes. I probably should have meted. I don't know what I'm thinking. Nah. What if it's really slow? <laughs> and we can use our sun. True. I feel like it's not going to be really slow, though. Just have a sneaking suspicion that uh, we got some gamers on team right now, so. Oh, that was a very real boss fight. Yeah. Uh, power keep is too much. Okay, what's it your is. solo time here? If you if you remember it. Um, it, it it's nineteen. You what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? So was, I'd like to thank you for your help, Ryan. But honestly, I wasn't really needed. So my presence slowed you down by three seconds. <laughs> yes. This is what I meant when I said there are levels to this. Well, conceptually here. So I guess the first thing we should do is do a little vod review. I would love it if you could kind of take me through what's uh what's going into this the way you skip it is that you have to get it from 650k because if it's higher than 650k it won't face to spinners yeah down to 550k because if it's lower than that it pretends spinners don't exist basically yeah um the time window you have for that is between his auto attacks so every time he does an auto he will also check his own hp and then if he's at a certain hp he'll you know do a spec or whatever so basically you have to skip in between his auto attacks hit Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It's sort of the same as, it's the same as Terraket. It's the same as, yeah, yeah. There's kind of two main parts of a skip. It's actually, firstly, it's getting 100k damage in the time window you have, um, yeah. which is reasonably hard, but honestly, I don't think it's a big issue. Um, okay, so 100k damage in like one second, not a huge issue. <laughs> well, the, the other, so the other half of it is the timing and getting it down to 650k. So, Mm -hmm. two ways if you, like if you were going to do that there are probably two ways you can do it the first is you can essentially memorize a rotation from the very start of the kill up until the skip which is what i do for my speed kill so that i'm always on the right tick every single time okay the other thing is you could do a bit of damage at the start do a later sun um and that'll mean you'll hit close to 650k more consistently the downside of that is you then have to use something in the fights to actually time your skip rotation off you do yours here off of a melee hit does that matter the way his autos work right is he'll do a range auto every four ticks okay and then done every four ticks when he does a mage auto which yeah. he does occasionally yeah his next range auto will be five ticks later rather than four ticks so what it means oh. is after every mage auto you have a tick longer window to skip um, and when I say mage auto, the melee auto works exactly the same way. Um, oh, so, that's nuts. Okay, so you're basically, you're getting a melee hit here, and that gives you an extra tick for your skip. Yes. Correct. Okay, so that seems important. Yes. You can do a full five tick armadour battle star spec, and then a wild magic, and your second wild magic will hit yeah. before, the, um, before the HP check. But okay. it will only hit in time if you're MD of Ambassador, because you know how wild magic hits slow at a distance. Yes, I do know that. But that so is that's why I such run, a nuanced thing. Yeah. That's why I run towards him. It, well, I think whenever I stall my um, Omni Power, I'm a bit out of MD. And then before I release it, I will run into yeah, MD. Yeah, I'm watching it. Okay. So the actual skip rotation, right? I'll explain that quickly. So it's yeah, that seems really good to have, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, you might need that bit. There's the stalled Omni. Mm -hmm. into melee distance and then you're releasing the omni with an abs spec which we'll have to get into how to do and then with the melee hit and then your wild magic okay yeah so cool. in, in that kill cool. i accidentally did a four tick abs not a five tick abs okay but you're going to be wanting to do a five tick abs okay cool well i think the natural i think the natural next step here if you're if you're down is we should probably talk about ability stalling and how to actually you know do the stalled omni situation or, mm -hmm. or the stalled anything situation so are you stalling with an excalibur yes i am uh okay so when you stall ability you can release your ability on a um target just by clicking on it but if you want to do an ability the next tick which is what we're going to do yeah instead of clicking on the dummy you're going to use an auto attack to release oh, just to the retarget it. stool. 
Yeah, oh, so like, okay. so when you release it, you're going to just press like Blood Barrage or yeah. Smoke Cloud or whatever, and this, and then you're going to press your Armadale Battle Staff spec. Okay, so, G Conk. There we go. That's so sick! I'm using two abilities at once! Okay, that makes sense. That actually makes perfect intuitive sense. Uh huh. Wait, I'm doing it! You seem to have used that all your runes. <laughs> I have my water runes! Help! Stop! Stop critting! Please, I don't have money for this! I literally will not ever financially recover from this! Can I lo- X log? Run! Stop the water runes! Please! <laughs> I'm dying! The best option is yeah. to stall your Omni with a Vigor on and then release it with the Reaver's Ring on. It you depends if that. you're prepared oh, yeah, to course, do that. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah. No, okay, I, have, yeah. I have lots of ring switching keybinds. Yeah, I can like actually do okay, that. Yeah. That is nuts to me though. Okay, so, I mean, I guess it makes sense. So, mm -hmm. Vigor on, boom, put the Reaver Ring on. Yeah, okay. I can and then do it. the um, the crit buff from Tsunami should give you enough adrenaline to be able to wild magic there. There's a smoke around 45 seconds or so, um, and after that there will be two ranged auto attacks. And your aim is to release your Omni and ABS and all that stuff two ticks after the second ranged auto attack animation. After the anime, so after he launches it, not after it hits me, just after he launches yes, it. Yes, after he launches it. Okay, why um, don't I just go in? Why don't I just go in and, and wait for that timing without doing any, yeah, any kind of rotation? Yeah, you'll 100% you'll get a feel for when it's actually going to happen. One, two, like that. Uh, I'm just watching stream. I think that was good. I think that was Let's good. Let's go! I mean, it did no damage, but the timing was good. Yeah, but the, the, the timing is what well, matters. Yeah. Yeah. With the rotation set and the teaching portion of the speed kill in place, it's time for part three, which is time to put the work in. Practicing anything in RuneScape is always the frustrating part, because after sitting back and relaxing for a bit, having things brilliantly explained to me, it's now time for me to actually put my knowledge to the test and practice. Learning in anything is difficult, and especially in RuneScape, it can be really tough because it's hard to see results quickly. It's not a linear process where every single time you go in, you're going to be a little better than the last time. But over the course of three hours, I gradually got better and better. Outside of the odd comment to help me with the timing and a few suggestions here and there, the next three hours were filled with nothing but grinding. This entire segment pretty much turned into a podcast, where Pup and I talked about combat balance and speed killing and macros and a great number of other topics, all while I gradually started to get closer and closer to being able to skip the beams. I hate shift and alt binds. I don't actually use the shift binds, it's just I manually click it. Uh huh. I will say I do like alt binds. All my defensives are alt binds, just because they're defensives. Well, I guess you have all on your mouse, so. Uh, I actually sense. don't. I reach back up Do my you know? thumb. Yeah, I'm a okay, piano I, I player. So my thumb does this weird curl thing. Uh huh. Oh my god! <gasps> <laughs> that was so close. That was so close. That was sick! Okay, wait. Help. Oh no, help. Just help her, just help her, just help her, just help her. Ah, uh, you seem to um, have messed up. I seem to have fallen. <laughs> and I am unable to get up. I appreciate that right before, right before this, you managed to submit two faster Arch Glacier records than mine, taking me from second on the sheet to fourth. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Can, okay, can I? Okay, I'm going to expose Pup for something here, actually. Oh, no. This man asked me if I minded that he went for it. I felt bad. Bro, if, you're, if you can get a faster time, take it. <laughs> he actually asked me if he was cool with me, or if I was cool with him clearing me off the sheet. I was like, uh, yeah, isn't that the whole point? <laughs> At the point that the most goaded person gets the time? No, well, I did very well, much appreciate that. It was very kind. Well, yeah, when like, you were no. doing your speeds, you seemed to be having a really good time. I was like, it'll be really I sad. I was having a really good time. And you know what? I'm going to have a really, really good time working to get better than your times. 
so that I can clear I wish you. you luck. I am gonna need it, probably. Here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. Is this going roughly to plan or to expectation? Uh, I'll be honest, it is probably better than I expected. Um, Pog? So I, so I went into this not really knowing if you'd ever done a speed kill apart from the one Criara a while ago. <laughs> okay. Um, so I, I, w I didn't really expect much, I'll be honest, and I am pleasantly surprised. Let's go! I told you I was goaded on the sticks. No, I appreciate <laughs> that. No, I mean, I, I suggested it only because I did feel like it was something I would be able to do. Mm -hmm. That's crits! I'm so stupid. I messed up. I messed up. I went early. I think I went early. Pretty yeah, early. I think you panicked and then did well magic early. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I doing ED3? Because I am trying to be an ambi skip PVMer. Do you know if anyone else has done one? As far as I know, no one has. Except for you. I feel like I, yeah, I and feel like me. I'd have been told. Two. And you, yeah, obviously. I'm sorry, you, you feel like you've been told? I feel like I would have been told if someone else had done one. Yeah, but I, I think it's respectful to be like, hey, thank you for coming up with the strat, I yoinked it. Well, not even that, just like, I'd expect to just like hear, oh, did you hear they got skipped kind of thing, you know? Like, oh, that's and I've fair. Just, just not heard that from anyone, so as far as I know, Okay, um, so soft confirmed. It's gonna be me. And then everyone in chat. Yes. <gasps> no! My wild magic was on cooldown! Uh, that was 10k uh, off for the wild magic! No! Bro, that was a full wild magic in so <sighs> Okay, yeah, we're, oh, getting no. this. we're getting this. I'm sorry, Pup. I don't know if you got stuff going on later, but... Oh, no, I don't really. You're we, good, you're ain't, good. Ain't nobody leaving this desk. Chat, none of you are leaving until I am not... I am not getting up from my chair. My wild magic was on cooldown. Like, I literally could hit anything there. I could hit his fix. Oh, that is nuts. Oh, this is happening. This is happening. This is happening. Laser focused. What if someone needs to use the washroom? That sounds like a personal problem. I can't believe how close that was. Oh, that was so sick. I'm so sad. That's fine. I'll get it when I deserve it. That's how this works. Yeah, you get it when you deserve it. Give it to me. Yes! Let's go, <gasps> baby! It's that easy! Oh my god! That was so sick! He's done it! That's it! We're done! He's done We're it! Done, dude! I don't know what to do now. I'm gonna die. I'm dying! Panic! Pop, I'm dying! I'm panicking! Okay, switch switch your spell to inside fair. Thank you. And then do your son when you when you do it. Do my son when I do it. Okay. Yep. Wait, bro, I'm out of food. You got some bruise. Serious! Wait, when does Syria come out? Uh, oh, soon okay. PM. Hog? Hog! Wait, I didn't even use my Limitless. Wait, Limitless, now. My hands are shaking. Go! Damage! Hit the boss! Wait, I'm actually pogging right now. Wait, like we're you pogging. Are. We're pogging! We're pogging! Now you're probably gonna get a heal, so don't dump like everything. Cause then yeah, just just do your thresholds. And go! Your, your thingy. Go! 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 Done! Wait, almost done. Omni! <laughs> I threw the end. <laughs> Let's go, dude! <laughs> 
Congratulations, Let's Ryan. Go! I'm very, very, very proud of you. Wait, thank you. Wait, my heart didn't even PR. No, this is a group time because we're in a group because I wanted to make sure he could he could bear witness. <laughs> that was so filthy. That was so sick. I feel like I could do that like repeatedly. Uh huh. Like I feel like that was consistent. I asked her two fifteen. Yeah, dude, that took so much time off my PR. Wait, <laughs> that was so sick. Now you know the feeling of getting the skip and panicking big time. <laughs> that was so sick. Okay, like, without you, fastest in the world. Fastest ambassador kill in the world, not done by Pup. We take those. That was very nice. That was really, that was really fun. I get, you gotta I, play I, it back. I think, yeah, yeah, I'll take a look. I think I get speed killing now. Like, I think I understand. Uh -huh. Like, there is a rush there that you do not get anywhere else. Oh, 100%. Pup, thank you so much for showing me that. That was awesome. That was oh, so welcome. enjoyable to do. Oh my goodness. I actually, I enjoyed that so much. Like, there's no universe where I'm going to be doing Ambi anymore without going for a skip. Because... It's so enjoyable. That's just, it's really fun. It's not that, that hard. No, se, it's really it just, not. It takes some work on the timing. Like it definitely took what? It took us three hours and 40 minutes start to finish from knowing nothing and introing mm -hmm. you and reviewing your time to having it done. That was awesome. <laughs> that was really, really I'd say awesome. that's very good. Thank you. Like, and now I've devalued it too. So now I, I'm guessing lots of other people will hopefully go for it too, <laughs> which, is, which is a good thing, which is something I, I, I like that if I do something, people are like, wait, you can do that. And anybody can do it. Mm -hmm. I think it, this applies to anything in RuneScape, but it's just a matter of of putting in practice once you know that your rotation is set. Once you know that your rotation is the right thing, it's just practice for execution, practice for RNG. And uh, yeah, what a huge dub. Chat, can we get some love hearts for, for Pup fun. taking three and a half hours out of his busy schedule to, uh, to watch me throw repeatedly? I had a good time. Honestly, I had a great time. I just, I, I've, I've been interested in speed killing for so long and... Pup is a great speed killer, but he's also a really good communicator as well with regard to like explaining what is going on in speed kill. So I thought it'd be a really cool opportunity to collab and, and have him uh, have him, you know, explain to myself and all of you guys by proxy, you know, how some of these speeds work, what goes into them. And, you know, I'm really glad we could make it happen. I will say execution wise, I think I did pretty well, which I'm quite happy with. I know he said he was he was pleasantly surprised. And yeah, that makes me really happy. That's uh that's a pretty big fire up to be able to to say I'm the the second person in the world to uh to be able to get that done and all thanks to a fantastic teacher